You know, Sybil Fitch, this whole thing wouldn't have happened if you hadn't brought that boy here. At least I brought mine in one piece. Gee, Mr. Fitch, I hope Butch don't die on you. Fitch, four pairs of brown cord. Fitch! Oh, oh, Mr. Oh, Mr. Snively, What's I... What's this nonsense about adopting a child? Child? A child, sir? I... Uh, uh, well, uh, we did take a little boy on trial, sir. What makes you think you could take care of a little boy? You can hardly take care of yourself. Mm. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm going to change my mind about the whole thing. I'm going to send the boy back. That's typical of you. Oh, Mr. Snively, I've had an awful week. I, I've had to sleep on the couch, you see. And, he plays tag up and down the hall at six o'clock in the morning. Of course, it's bad enough to have boys all day in the store here and then to go home and find them. Am it. I to understand that you don't like boys, Fitch? Oh, oh I assure there you. There are plenty of salesmen who do. Oh, I assure you, sir, I do. I love children. I only but... Uh, but I... I... <laughs> Uh, oh. Nothing wrong with these boys, Sybil. Except their appetites. I've been stopping them for a week and they're still hungry. <laughs> Bet you're glad to get that old bandage off, aren't you? I guess so. Well, aren't you going to carry my bag for me today? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll open it for you, Doc. This is all I can give you now, Doctor, but you'll send us a bill, won't you? No, that's plenty, Sybil. Don't get anything for most of my patients. Goodbye, Joe. Goodbye, Doc. What you sniffling about? Well, now that I'm well, Mr. Fitch will send me away back to the orphanage. So what? You never miss that guy. I like that, Mrs. Fitch. And they like me. Yeah. They sure are regular. But I don't want to go back. I don't want to go to the orphanage. <laughs> Find out. What, what? What do you mean, Butch? Well, I still got this sling, and we could put another bandage on Joe's head. Oh, oh that wouldn't be right. If Mr. Fitch should find out. But if we stuck around a few days, oh, well, he might get to like Joe. Please, Mrs. Fitch. Yeah. Please. It would be for Homer's own good, wouldn't it? There. That's good for another week. By then, you'll be sitting pretty with Fitch and I'll be on my way. Where are you going? I'll be heading west to California. I figure on spending the winter with my grandpa. I thought you said you didn't have any folks. That ain't folks. Folks is a ma and pa. How are you gonna get to California? You haven't got any money. Well, I'll ride the rides, or pick myself out a nice warm freight car and dig in. I've been all over the country that way. You have? Sure. Say, I even lived in a hobo jungle and ate mulligan stew. Boy, those were the good old days. Well, you gotta have some money to eat. Oh, I'll find a way to pick up some loose change. Oh, a butch. Be a good boy and take these jars of jelly down to Mrs. Jepson. Poor old soul, I haven't sent her any for six weeks. Oh, how much do I charge her? Charge? Why, nothing. It's a present. Oh. Can I go with you, butch? Okay, come on. I brought some jelly for Mrs. Jepson. Here. Hmm. Currants and wild grape. She must be out of crab apple. Uh, Sybil Fitch. Oh, you're the new boy at the Fitch's. Uh huh. A visiting over there? Oh, sorta. How'd you hurt your arm? Poking it in other people's business. <laughs> That's one on you, Felice. <laughs> Get me the empties out of the larder. All right. 
You better eat some of this jelly. Put some fat on you. Yes, ma'am. Best jelly I ever tasted. Uh, but don't you tell Sybil. She might start charging me for it. <laughs> How much is it worth? Worth 35 cents of anybody's money. Here you are, little boy. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, ma'am. Goodbye. Thirty-five cents, huh? Wait, wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! Let me idea what you're doing here! Who wants to know? Oh, you got some. What's the idea of picking on a little kid? Wanna make something out of it? Well... The golden arrows wouldn't pick on a little kid. Oh, what's the golden arrows? It's a secret lodge. Never heard of it. Wanna be a secret lodge you ever heard of it? What do the golden arrows do? They stick together, that's what they do. Anybody who does something to a golden arrow, he'd better watch out. You golden arrow? You bet your life I am. I'm a head man. You are? Which what one? Are you? Why, I'm a, a chief bowstring of the Robin Hood quiver. Say, Say, can we start one of those uh, quivers around here? Yeah, yeah can we? Right? Yeah, right? Sure, how about it? Ah, uh, you couldn't pass the test. Start a golden arrow if you wanted to. Why don't you, Butch? Oh, what for? We could have a lot of fun. There's lots of kids, and we could have it like a real club. And put on a show, and... Yeah. We could meet right in our cellar. And you will start a golden arrow? I think I will. But you I could pass the test, huh, Butch? Ah, oh, go on. You're too little. Ah, oh, let me try, will you? Don't bother me. I got things in my mind. Well, the first thing you gotta do is put your hand on your heart and swear. I am an arrow of pure school, and I swear to do as I am told. Ready? Mm -hmm. I, I am an arrow of pure school. I swear to do as I am told. The great sacred oath comes later. Now, the next thing is the secret service test. Come here. Look. Mrs. Fitch is in distress. Huh? And we've got to sell some of this jelly to help her. 35 cents a jar. Oh, I can't sell any Gee, jelly. I don't know. How do you do it? It's a cinch. Tell him a sob story. Your mother hasn't got nothing to eat and can't pay the rent. Can't well, hurt to try. Try. But you can't sell the jelly to anybody that knows Mrs. Fitch. That's the secret part. Take it clear across town to a different neighborhood. When it's sold, bring the money back here. See? Well, come on. Come on. Isn't this Mrs. Fitz's jelly? Yes, sir. It's only 35 cents. We haven't got anything to eat, and we can't pay the rent. Well, I can use one. Thank you, lady. Well, I never. Hello, Flora. Mrs. Felice. Have you heard about the Fitches? They're down to their last cent. Hmm. Of course I mean it. They're absolutely starving. And you know those two boys she adopted? Well, what do you think? They're out selling jelly. Is that a nice thing? Now I ask you, it hasn't saved a red cent. And I mean every word of it. They're positively starving. Mom! Mom! I told them. Here. 